Good morning guys, it's bright and early and we're starting off another vlog. I hope you guys are all doing very well. I have a little bit of an explanation to give you guys because first of all, I am actually vlogging to you guys right now from the future. So I just edited this entire vlog and realized that I did not start it off. I just kind of jumped into it and was like, hey, back from the eye doctor. And you guys are probably like, what? Like you didn't tell us you were going and didn't start off the vlog and say what we were doing. So I'll start with that. Um, so this was a weekend. The heat always turns on while I'm filming a clip. Um, so this was a weekend that I was by myself. So Polly was upstate with his friends for the Super Bowl and I basically had a lot of plans with my friends and also an eye doctor appointment. So I booked an appointment for the morning on Saturday and then we were going to brunch with Christina and Jenna on Saturday and then on Sunday I went and met my roommate for or my old roommate for coffee which was really nice and so you guys will see all of that um, but just wanted to give you guys a little bit of a background why I just like start popping in saying that I came back from the eye doctor but the other thing I wanted to address was the fact that this vlog is from Galentine's weekend so that was February 9th and today is the 22nd which I can't believe I'm saying that so I just wanted to Apologize for getting this out so late basically and you'll find this out in later vlogs when I explain it But I forgot my laptop at my sister's apartment for something exciting <laughs> That you guys will also see in the next video or the next couple of videos um, and so this entire week I couldn't edit or upload because I was trying to use Polly's computer, but he doesn't have enough storage for my long videos of me talking. So I basically had to, or Vanessa had her friend bring her, the laptop back into the city because she was visiting her. And I went and picked it up last night from her apartment. So the laptop is back. I edited the whole video in one night and then I'm uploading it for Saturday, which is going to be when you guys are watching this. So apologies for the fact that I didn't start off this vlog and also for the fact that I didn't upload for a while and that this vlog's a little bit old. Um, but you guys will be able to tell that I didn't have this pimple in the vlog that you're about to watch. I think it's probably starting. Anyway, thank you guys for tuning into this video. I love you all and I hope you enjoy it. Okay, I just got back from the eye doctor and picked up some new florals from, where did I get these? Whole Foods. And they were $12 for this beautiful little bouquet so it's basically just some green white and then they have little hints of these like purple things in here so I don't have time to put these in water and to cut them down because I thought that the brunch place was 15 minutes away from me by subway but it's actually 30 so it's not funny I actually need to get ready in 20 minutes it's 10 10 and thank god I already know what I'm wearing I'm gonna do my <clears throat> Jenny Kane sweater, which I didn't even have a chance to put this away before wanting to wear it. So we're gonna do this with white jeans, which I know is a little bit of a crazy move, but it's supposed to be 55 degrees today, and my Chanel loafers. And then I'll probably put on my black short coat from H&M, not H&M, Zara. Yeah, so that's the outfit, just in case I don't get to show you guys before I leave, but thank God I have a five minute makeup routine down, because if not, we could be in a lot more trouble than we already are. Because if you guys can see, my hair is soaking wet. <laughs> So excuse the vacuum in the background. I was cleaning the rug after I built the bar cart or the bar cabinet. Um, but we're back from brunch. Slate was amazing. I think they have a couple of locations. So the one on 73rd is technically like Upper West Side. And typically I think when you visit New York, Upper West Side isn't really like one of the like top spots to visit so if you're not up on that part of new york there is one downtown so i would definitely look it up the food was really really fresh the latte was amazing i wish i didn't get vanilla in it though and i haven't had coffee for the past couple of days because of my procedure yesterday so um i was like craving it and then i got vanilla and i think 
it was too sweet for me, which it could be because I've been making the iced coffees from Nespresso instead of making like my normal sweet lattes, but all in all, it was really great. I had avocado toast, Jenna got a chopped salad, which honestly looked so amazing. I kind of wish I got that, but I'll just go back and get it another time. And then Christina got a little like green goddess wrap and it looked so good. Everyone was just so happy with their food and it was amazing. So after that, we went to Sephora and we like to just go in there shop around, look at some different things. And this Sephora actually, well, first I'll show you guys because you're probably wondering why I have this pretty bag. This is from Jenna and she got me a little birthday gift, which is honestly hilarious because my sister is obsessed with this perfume and she's like, I need it. And so I might get that for her as a gift at some point because I know she really wants it, but she hasn't gotten it yet. But this is the Gabrielle perfume and it was so funny because we were in Sephora and I hadn't opened the present yet I was gonna open it when I got home, but we were smelling the fragrances. I put on poppy and barley by Jo Malone again and The fragrance smells so sweet when you first put it on but then it kind of evolves into this musky scent Which I'm obsessed with so I think I need to get that from my parents as my birthday gift because My mom was basically like just get yourself a gift and let me know what it is um, so I might get that but I picked up the Gabrielle and I was like, Vanessa loves this perfume and it smells delicious. But me and Vanessa have had the same perfumes. We both had Aqua de Jo. We both had, I think we both had the same Burberry one. And so we've just been like, you know, having the same scents. And I was like, it smells so good. So I won't get it for myself. I'll just get it for her. And Jenna got it for me. So the, first of all, the packaging is stunning. I mean, it's Chanel. They don't really do anything wrong. But the perfume is amazing. And I cannot wait to wear this. And I'm just... That's like the best gift ever. And honestly, scent is kind of hard. Like, you just have to know this about my friend Jenna. She is the best, most thoughtful gift giver on the planet. And she just like knows what you need and what you like. And I'm like, she hit the nail on the head with this. She basically read my mind without reading my mind. So thank you to Jenna for that. And then in Sephora, we looked at fragrances and then the Summer Fridays kiosk thing was loaded with their products and I'm like how they had every single flavor of the what is this called the lip butter bomb and I decided to get the vanilla beige instead of just the vanilla one because I've had that one and I just finished it so I decided to go for a little tint of color and their packaging is just really really pretty it reminds me of the color of the um rose ink packaging but is that what it's called yes um okay then the other thing is their lip oil. And I got it in the shade Blush Dreams. And there were like, it was kind of hard to, to pick between this one and the mauve one. But this is like the most stunning color. And I didn't put it on in the store obviously because that would be kind of gross. So this is, wow. First impression. Okay, I've also, mind you, have never, I mean, you guys would probably know on my channel, I've never shared the Dior lip oils because I've never tried them. But I like how it feels like there's nothing on my lips, but there's a tint of color. And it's like right in that family of like pinky beiges that I normally wear. So that's a win. Excited to keep wearing that. And then this is just a tried and true. I know I love the formula. It's probably my favorite like tube type of lip product aside from like aquaphor that's like my favorite like chapstick but it also looks really pretty so you get like a two in one and then i had one package come today this is the lash class lash <laughs> lash clash that's actually really hard to say um or for me anyway by ysl and this is the waterproof version and i have never worn waterproof mascara because i was told that it was so bad for your eyelashes however I have weddings coming up. I have my sister's wedding in March, which is in like three weeks. And then I have my friend Christina's wedding in June. And then why do I feel like I have one more this year? But anyway, I'm a baby at weddings. Like there's just no, I don't know what's wrong with me. I cry at every single wedding I go to. And so I feel like this is going to be my wedding mascara. I already love the normal version of this. So the waterproof, I think we're just gonna label this as like my event mascara. So if I'm going to a wedding, which over the next two years, I'm going to have a good amount of, oh, we have another one in August in Greece. <laughs> so 
I am gonna use this mainly for that. I don't think I'll use it as an everyday thing, but having the waterproof version is gonna be perfect for those types of events, which I will be attending um, a lot over the next couple of years. But this bag from Jenny Kane that I showed you guys, I took this out with me today, and it was so easy to grab my stuff. Like, I love this thing. It's actually very, like, um, what's the word, durable too. Like, it's a very rigid leather, which, Looking at it, I thought it was going to be a lot more supple, but I like how much structure it has. It fits my vlogging camera, so I took you guys along on the camera and not just on my phone. So that was great. Just a little aside there. And then the other thing that I put inside of my little gifts from Jenna was my mini sweet, mini semi-sweet chocolate. Because we are going to Anastasia's apartment tonight for Galentine's, and I'm going to vlog that whole thing too. But I'm going to make chocolate-covered strawberries, number one, because they are, like, Probably one of the best desserts on the planet, healthy and unhealthy, kind of, you know, a good balance. But I saw on Pinterest that you cut off the top, which people have probably been doing this for like centuries and I'm just like getting started, but you cut the top out and it makes the strawberry look like a heart and then you just kind of dip them. So I'm going to make that as my like kind of... <laughs> Sorry, um, but I'm gonna use this and make these now as like my hostess gift. So I actually have to get started because it's 3.37. The subways were the biggest pain in the butt today. They would not move and the express subways were moving on the local line. So I thought I was taking an express up to 72nd Street and it was a local one that stopped literally every five blocks. I was 10 minutes late and I was apologizing profusely because that was just so bad. <laughs> Um, but it was the same thing on the way back. At least I didn't have anywhere to be, but it was slow as hell. So anyway, it's 3.30. I need to get started on this, and I also have to cut the flowers because I just put them in a vase in the bouquet. I didn't actually cut them and, like, style them into the vase. So we're going to do that, and then I also have to get rid of all of the recycling from the past couple of days. And I have to show you guys the bar cabinet because I still have not done that. <laughs> I could put a Pyrex in boiling water, right? What? I could put Pyrex in a boiling water, right? What do you mean in boiling water? I'm boiling a pot. I'm making chocolate covered strawberries for my Galentine's thing later. Okay, we are pausing the Frank Sinatra radio on Spotify. I just put all the strawberries in the fridge. So I made about like 16 of them. There's only five of us going, so I figured like three a person. Or if someone wants to have extra, then I feel like that's a good amount. Um, are there five of us going or are there four of us? It's me, Hazel, Avery, Sammy, and eight. yeah, so there's five of us. Um, so I feel like that'll be fine. I do have some extras. Ooh, there's water everywhere. So I'll probably use these for smoothies over the next couple of days or just eat them fresh. So now I need to break down the boxes from last night. I have a bunch of packages that came in that I already showed you guys everything from. And also I had the boxes from the bar cabinet. So I need to like just do a little bit of tidying. I'm also going to get the flower situation under control because watching them literally, this is how they've been sitting. And I feel like they're just sitting here dying, but I know that they're probably not. They seem okay and like this is how they were in the store, but I need to chop them down. I might have to take some out because the bouquet is actually pretty big and I don't know if my base is gonna be able to hold all of them, but I definitely need to figure this out because they've been in here for like hours. Okay, the lighting is going to be a little bit yellow, but this is our bar cabinet. And I think it looks really nice considering it was from Amazon. It also took me so long to put this together. There were so many pieces and I don't have like an electric screwdriver or a drill or anything like that. So 
I mean, honestly, it took me a long time last night. I'm just gonna adjust this. So I don't know how I'm gonna style this. Right now I have these two candles because I think I wanna put the Oak Essentials one just because I like the green with a bar card. I'm gonna make this kind of like, not a little bit manly, but I don't know. I've, there isn't going to be anything on top that is like bar related. Like everything that we have is in here. This actually has amazing storage, so I'll link this for you guys and it's pretty affordable. I need to also take off these like little numbered stickers from when I was building it. But this is what it looks like on the inside. All of this glassware on the top here used to be in our cabinet and it was all the way at the top and it just made me nervous reaching all the way up there to get it. Also, I don't know why these like styrofoam pieces are sticking to the wood. So I need to try to clean that. But we have the liquor over here, extra glasses, and our like cocktail shakers. On the bottom, there's like wine, one bottle of champagne. And then we have Aperol, of course. This, I think is, oh, also champagne. And then we have this wine. I think it's like a, it's basically a wine aerator, but it's a wine preserver. And basically you use this device and you like put it on the bottle like for red wine and supposedly it makes it last like two weeks instead of one week and we really don't oh my god excuse the chocolate on my nail um, we really don't drink that much wine like if we open a bottle for cooking it takes us a while to finish it and we always feel like pressured to finish it in the next couple of days so that it doesn't go bad and we don't waste it so this is a really good gadget and I'll link this for you guys too guys um we're in Anastasia's apartment I didn't vlog before we left because I was watching Gossip Girl and lost track of time and got dressed so I'm wearing like a cream sweater and my rumored little maxi dress and then this is Anastasia's apartment she's currently making um spicy rigatoni sauce yes. right yeah so it's like a spicy vodka sauce kind of situation yeah pretty much love that we have a pear galette galette whatever galette looks super nice and pastas and brussels which are, this is really pretty Thanks. isn't it so pretty yeah I, okay, this wait where'd you get this idea like i Pinterest? had it at a restaurant one time so i just recreated. all of us have a little love letter bag you didn't write yours ahead of time sammy right no, was I okay, I'm the only one that misunder. No, Hathel and I both were like, no, I was the only one because Hathel was like, wait, I think we're doing it there. I thought we were supposed to do it beforehand. I thought it was like our homework. Okay, well, no, no, no. You're fine. This I, I, is I, stunning I, table. <laughs> so you're Good morning, guys. Happy Sunday. I don't know if this is focused, but I am doing my old get to Trader Joe's as they open trick, and the subways are running at a delayed schedule today. So I need to leave in like one minute to go and catch the next train to get up there. But I'm really excited because we don't have a ton of food and I just want to have a productive Sunday. So I'm just wearing this Sherpa jacket with leggings and my New Balances, which I can't show you because there's a pile of stuff on the ground. I guess I'll just show you guys. Um, but this is the outfit. It's like 40 degrees out. So I have a little bit of walking to do. And I always sweat when I go food shopping, but I also didn't want to be freezing. So this is my kind of in between outfit. So I need to leave now. I'll bring you guys along and maybe we'll do a little TJ's haul when I get back because I think it's been like a year since I've done that. We're back from the little TJ's run. I really didn't get too much stuff. I was pretty, I was being pretty selective, I would say. I wouldn't say well behaved because the first thing I'm going to show you is these vernaculas. <laughs> and you guys know that I just bought flowers yesterday, but I have an idea with arranging that bouquet and some of this together in two separate things across the apartment. So it's justified, I promise, but it's also kind of not. <laughs> um, but I got some other cute things. So Christina and I, after we went to Sephora yesterday. Jenna ended up going back to the path to go back to Hoboken and we were gonna get Valentine's Day cards. And Trader Joe's on 70, I think it's 70th Street, didn't have any. And we were like, and they were next to the line. So the, the way that you go in is like, there are two sides of the line. One side of the line has the entire wall of cards. The other side of the line is just like a regular line. And so we were on the line and we were only there for cards and we're trying to like pick ones out and find the Valentine's Day ones, but the line was moving so fast 
that we couldn't like stop and people were going around us and it was just chaotic and in the Trader Joe's that I go to on Spring Street they have the cards in a separate area where you can like sit and like ponder kind of um, so I got this one actually this one was not in the first section I looked at. I originally was getting the one that said, like, I'm shellfish on the front of it and had a lobster, which was really cute. And I would have been okay with that. But then there was a Valentine's Day section near, like, the face and, like, self-care products. So they had Valentine's Day cards and all of the Valentine's Day ones in addition to this one that says, my soulmate. And it's two soul fishes. <laughs> Fish? Fishes? And then on the inside, it just says Happy Valentine's Day. I didn't want to get something that was, like, super wordy. Um, and then I got this. I picked up birthday cards because Christina made a good point that it's just good to have them. And so I got this one that has a llama and a little mouse on top with a cupcake. I think I'm going to give this to Jenna because I asked her yesterday when she gave me my gift. And I was like, did we not give you a gift last year? And she's like, no, like, I didn't celebrate my birthday. I was like, I don't care. Like... I'm not going to skip getting a gift for you because you didn't do something for your birthday. Like, I'm still going to get you one. And I had a feeling that we didn't give her one because I hadn't seen her over her birthday. But I'm like, that's wrong. So I know what I'm going to get her. And I'm not going to mention it just in case she watches this video. But I'm going to buy it today and give it to her the next time I see her because I'm like, this is annoying. Um, also, my battery's flashing. I just had to switch my battery out quickly. It's either I talk too much or these batteries die easily. And I think it's probably that I talk too much um, and then the last card I got is you're a cut above the rest and it's just a piece of cake and on the inside it says wishing you a huge slice of fun today I probably should have read that before I bought this but these are a dollar the ones at the Hallmark store are like seven dollars which is fine I my mom was always the person that's like we're not spending seven dollars on a card but honestly I think it's part of the gift and when you pick one that's like specific to the person I think it's very personal and yeah anyway We've got bananas getting into the rest of the haul. I also got sourdough bread. We're almost out. Like the amount of bread that Polly and I consume is probably unhealthy. Um, but I also got the Greek yogurt. The last one that we got was pretty like watery in consistency, I thought, which I thought was strange. But I think this batch will be better. Um, I've been getting the tomato soup. We got it last time and had it for lunch one day when we were working from home with like a cozy grilled cheese and it was just a really nice meal so I'm excited to make that again and then I also got baby avocados um I got sea salt because we only have like this Italian like season I forget what it's called it's like Maldon or something we have this like for yeah it's Maldon sea salt flakes which this is the best salt I've ever tried if I'm being honest like I am a person that like loves salt on my food and that's just a really good brand but it's not predict it's not practical for like salting water for pasta and like salting things a little bit more casually salting i guess um and then i also got olive oil Polly uses a lot of olive oil for cooking and i feel like we're always running low like we just got this probably a week and a half ago and it's already down to here so I just got another one because I was already there and I figured it was better to have like back stock as opposed to like having to go and get it because we need it. Um, a cucumber. This is really good with our like salmon bowls that we make. I just got some more pasta. It's 99 cents. Good to have. And then something I have not gotten in a really long time is the Trader Joe's cold brew concentrate. So it's this big bottle. I think it's $8 and you get... How many servings? I think it depends on like how strong you like your coffee, but it says it makes 12 eight ounce cups. So 12 coffees for $8, that is a steal. I think that's even cheaper than me making an espresso, but I haven't had it in a really long time and it takes a while to expire. I think it goes bad in November. Actually, I think you have to drink it like 30 days after you open it. Yeah, use within 30 days after opening. So I can definitely finish 12 coffees in 30 days. You guys know me. And then breakfast, we just got some eggs. I also, because today's the Super Bowl, by the way, I picked up some tortilla chips and buffalo chicken dip. I have an obsession with buffalo chicken dip. It's actually crazy. Like, I'm afraid to eat this by myself today because I don't think I'm going to be able to stop, but we'll find that out later. <laughs> um, and then we got the butternut squash. 
ravioli. These are really good with like a sage butter sauce and like toasted pine nuts on top. That sounds really fancy, but it's only because Polly made it that way. And I'm like, every time we have it now, I'm like, I need to have it in this exact way. Um, and then I just got the almond butter granola to go with the Greek yogurt. And I usually will chop a banana and put that in there too and make like a little yogurt bowl. This is new for me. I've never tried this, but it's asparagus risotto. Since now I eat asparagus, I can eat something like that. I love risotto, so I think it'd be nice to add a little vegetable in there. We've got some ricotta for ricotta toast. This is also another thing that hasn't been in my like Trader Joe's realm for a while, and these are the hash browns because I've been looking in the wrong place. They used to have them in the entry to the freezer stuff. But now they're over by the chip witches, which I did not buy. But it's only because Polly bought me Ben and Jerry's ice cream because he was going away for the weekend and I had like my procedure done. So he's like, this is your treat. Um, so I didn't get any chip witches. I know that's shocking. I also just got ground turkey breast for little tacos, which I'm actually happy that I got those chips because I completely forgot that I got this. So I'll probably do that for dinner tonight and just do like buffalo chicken as an appetizer or a snack and then just make ground turkey with the seasoning that I have because I have the one from when I was in my last apartment, so it's like six months old. I hope that's fine. Um, but so we have a fun morning coming up. I am gonna go to Bedford Cafe and meet Amanda, who's my old roommate. I don't know if I actually ever put her on the vlog, if I'm being honest. I think she was always working, um, but I haven't seen her since my friend Megan got engaged. So that was in, wait, there's no, when did Megan get engaged? Maybe it has been that long, I don't know. But we are going to Bedford Cafe. She's gonna bring Honey, who is the dog that I used to live with, and I'm so excited to see her. She's like my little niece, we call her. And we're just gonna have a nice little, oh my God, these stupid fruit flies. So we're gonna get a coffee, and then I think we're gonna walk. We're gonna do like a morning walk kind of thing. So I think we're gonna walk back down to Amanda's apartment, which I haven't seen yet, and possibly go to and other stories in Soho because they have a crop trench that I have had my eye on. And I really just want to like innocently go and try it on and see what it looks like. So that's the plan for this morning. I'm going to put all of this stuff away and then get the flowers sorted. I feel like we have a lot to do. I also need to do dishes and clean up the chocolate from last night because I didn't do it when I should have. Like I should have just cleaned it while the chocolate was melted, but I didn't. So now I think I'm going to remelt it in the pot clean it out, I have to empty the dishwasher, launch it, like there's a lot of stuff to do. So we're just gonna have a little productive Sunday and let's get this going. It's almost about time to leave for Bedford Cafe. It's 10.10 and I'm going to give myself 20 minutes to get there because I have a feeling that the subways are going to be jerking me around a little bit. But um, I just cleaned dishes, emptied the dishwasher. Um, I ended up adjusting the doors on the little um, bar cabinet and I also hung the print over the top of that. And then I made myself some breakfast and watched like five minutes of Gossip Girl, which will hold me over until later. But I wanted to show you guys what I'm wearing because I was a little bit chilly earlier this morning, which I'm thinking now that it's probably gonna be warmer out by the time that I'm going and walking. And I don't wanna be, uh, it's like 45, it was 41 before. So I think I'll be fine with what I'm wearing. But as a base, I just have on the Aritzia, not Aritzia, the Athleta, onesie like jumpsuit and then I put my gray Arquette sweater over the top of this I did find one that's similar to this gray sweater so I can link that for you guys and it's just a really good like charcoal color to mix with this beige with the black leather piping and this is actually also Arquette I didn't even realize and then my bag is the Jenny Kane one I actually ended up popping on the long strap which is so nice for a walk I just like hands free but it's still like a really cute little tote shape and I love this bag. That's the one thing about my Arquette bag. It's so like big, like the handle's so big and thick 
that I feel like I can't wear crossbody because it gets in the way and I honestly like the way it looks better with just the top handle so I think this is going to be a very good addition to the wardrobe and then my shoes are just New Balance 2002 R's this is like the olive green color and aloe socks so I kind of did like a half casual half dressier look I mean this is actually very casual I don't know what I'm saying um, but yeah so this is what I'm gonna wear we're gonna go get a coffee. I've already had like two glasses of water, which I try to do before having coffee, and I also ate breakfast. So we're in good shape. I might get the cookie butter cold brew again because it was so delicious last time. Maybe just a little bit less sweet because for some reason I've been liking my coffees a little bit more like roasty as opposed to being sweet lately. So let's head out just in case the subways are doing a little dance like they did yesterday. guys we're back from my little coffee date that I had with Amanda and I got to see honey which was really nice and now I've just been watching Gossip Girl <laughs> um, and what else did I do I think I cleaned a little bit but nothing too crazy I did semi style the bar cabinet which I'm actually really really happy with the way that it looks and that the way it turned out with like everything finalized so it's just like interesting to see that piece of furniture over there just because it fills up the hallway a little bit more and it looks very I don't know I feel like it fits in well so um this wouldn't be a vlog unless I did a little bit of an unboxing with you guys I also need to use my tanning drops because I'm realizing that I look pale again but I have a few things here. One of them is from Everlane, which I didn't include when I did the Everlane unboxing a couple videos ago. And these are a pair of ballet flats. I'm still a little bit unsure about them, but if I were to ever get a pair, it would just be a plain black pair like these are. They are real leather. They kind of have this like square toe, which I like. And I think that these are gonna look really nice in the spring. So. We'll see how I end up styling them. I know that they were pretty trendy last year, but I feel like the old money style isn't really something that should go out of style. So if this was included in that, then I think we should be good to go for this season too. But I have been seeing people like buying them and wearing them for this spring. So I feel like they will stick around for another season. And this is just also like a really classic thing to have. So we'll see what happens with those. And then the next thing is this bag from a brand called Pedro and it's lavender and I kind of started to tap into the pastels for spring and summer last year when I bought that Zara wicker bag that has mint green stitched handles and so that was kind of like my entry to the color and, and then this bag is going to be a full-on like addition of color into an outfit so I loved this color I think that it looks really nice with a lot of neutrals so if I'm wearing all black if I'm wearing denim with a white top this color matches really nicely and I think that it's just when it's a handbag it doesn't feel as crazy as if I were to wear like pastel colored clothing and I really liked the shape of it I think it's really cute and small and just a nice little detail of color especially when most of my outfits are neutral and plain if I want to make it a little bit more fun then I can add this to it okay and then the last package is from Kukai, which is one of my favorite brands. They are Australian. And I think I mentioned them to you guys before that I was placing... Actually, I don't think I did. So, surprise. We have some new in pieces. I cannot wait to wear this stuff to my friend Christina's bachelorette party. One of the nights we're doing like a theme night and it's basically like neutrals, like champagne and like light colors. So, I will probably be able to wear one or two of these things but the first thing I'm just gonna try to show you guys is a brown and white maxi like slip dress and I loved the pattern of this on top of it being brown and white I don't have anything like of this pattern or color combination and I thought that it would look really pretty for the summer especially like with a tan and I obviously have like brown hair and stuff I mean you can wear this if you're blonde or like whatever hair color you have I just feel like it's gonna look super nice in the summertime and the material is very very soft it's not like 
the normal like silky slip dress material it's way more comfortable than that so I can't really explain it but I love the pattern and I think it's gonna look really nice with black accessories like sandals and a little bag and then the other dress is this yellow one that I'm so excited about because I think I'm gonna wear this to either the welcome party or I don't know I have a couple options but my friend Christina is getting married in June and she has a welcome party and then we also have the wedding in August in Greece which has a welcome party so I feel like this dress would work really well but this is a stunning light yellow ruched maxi dress and I immediately fell in love with the color I do have to say that the material is definitely more cottony so I mean I have to try this on and see like how it lays or if it's like super clingy because if it is I don't think I'm gonna survive in Greece with this I might do something more along the lines of the brown and white one for a welcome party just because the fabric is a little bit lighter but this is super comfortable very stretchy and I feel like the ruching detail is very forgiving when it comes to like covering anything that you don't want to see so very happy with this one and I can't wait to wear that there's also another yellow dress that I'm possibly thinking of wearing to my friend Christina's wedding so maybe we'll save that yellow one for Greece um, and then I got this top which I always look out for black pieces that have really cool like silhouettes to them because obviously black is a very classic color but it's also very understated so when we have a top like this with these little details of the buckle and also another buckle at the back like the whole back is open and then you just have like a buckle going across the back and one over the shoulder this is gonna look so nice with like white linen pants jeans and heels trouser shorts just like basically anything and I do already have a pair of trouser shorts that I can match this with so this is definitely a good piece to add into your wardrobe with things that you already have that you could style it up with another top which I've been after this for so long I love the silhouette of this and I think the dish has something similar but it's strapless and I wanted something that was gonna be a little bit more comfortable than being strapless because I feel like I'm always like fussing with it when there are no straps to a shirt so this is a button front top that kind of like goes out into a little bit of I don't know how to explain that it kind of flares out a little bit at the bottom and the buttons discontinue like at the cropped level and I've seen people wear this I think it's definitely in line with that old money style especially with these fabric covered buttons I think that always makes something look more expensive and you know it being black I'm like super easy for me we just put a pair of like straight leg baggy jeans or basically like style it the same way that I would with the other black top um, you could also do like straight like black trousers if you want something a little bit dressier and I'll probably do that with the buckle top as well and then the last thing is a set and I believe okay so this is a skirt a little neutral skirt which I'm definitely going to need a tan for this because I feel like it's the same color as my skin right now which is not okay <laughs> The top is actually the same one that I just showed you, but it's in this nude color. So we have a set, and I think this is going to look stunning. You could do like a black belt, and it will show because of the buttons not going all the way down on the top. And I love a set. I can wear this with a white tank. I can wear this with basically any pair of pants that I have in my summer wardrobe. And, you know, I go on and on about how you can mix and match sets, but because this one is so neutral, I feel like I'm going to get tons of use out of it and I cannot wait to wear these things. So, um, that's everything I have new in right now. I am getting pretty tired, honestly. It's, what time is it? Oh, it's already 4.30, I feel like that's pretty late. But the only other things that I wanna do today are go to the gym, have some buffalo chicken dip, and then also watch the Super Bowl, which I'm not super interested in either of the teams that are in it, because I do watch football throughout the regular season, and I'm a Cowboys fan. So, Cowboys did not make it. They didn't make it in a huge way. They basically just choked, and they obviously didn't make it to the Super Bowl. So, yeah, I'm not that interested in the game, not because I'm not interested in football. It's more so because of the teams. It's, like, hard for me to, like, connect to one of them. So I'm gonna watch it, but if I'm being honest, it's for the commercials and to watch Usher because I actually saw Usher in concert when I was younger and he was so amazing. And I feel like he's a forgotten legend. So I'm really excited to see his performance. There are rumors that Justin Bieber is going to appear, but who knows, I guess we're gonna find out in a few hours. But in the meantime, I'm doing some decor shopping, which I know you're probably thinking, 
what can I possibly fit into this apartment other than what I already have and there are just some like little styling things that I want to get for the kitchen surprisingly and it's mainly because I really want the apartment to feel very cozy and homey and have a lot of character for the rest of the six months that we're gonna be living here so stay tuned for the homeware unboxings I'm gonna order that stuff probably tonight just because I'm so excited about it and that will be all in the next vlog. So thank you guys so much for watching this video. I hope you enjoyed being out and about with me in New York City. Don't forget. To okay, my memory card was full, but don't forget to subscribe and I will see you all in my next video.